Okay, so today we are gonna be going over all this cool stuff that's inside this box. One of my favorite things about being a YouTuber and doing product reviews is I get sent these big boxes full of cool stuff and neat tech that I get to show you guys that's coming out in the accessory world. We're gonna go through that eventually. But first, I'm curious, are you guys having like, those of you who own your car for a year or two, like how much damage exactly is your car taking? Like my Model uh, 3, my Model Y is obviously too new to have too much damage, but my Model 3 is getting beat up. In fact, let me show you. And I'm curious about this because I'm wondering if I'm unique in the fact that that is just this bad. I mean, we're talking dents, scratches, the whole nine yards. So let's go out to the garage here or driveway. And let me show you just how bad this has gotten. So first of all, my rims are like all scratched up. I mean, look at that. Like everyone in my rims are like that. I mean, like I'm not that bad of a driver. I mean, I don't really even notice hitting anything, but dang. Also take a look at this. I mean, that is like a massive dent in there. It's almost like someone hit it with like a hammer or something. There, you can kind of see it there. And then I have a bunch of these little like hairline scratches. And I mean, I don't know, maybe it's from all my installs of me just messing with it or doing something stupid, but I'm just curious, like how beat up are your guys' after two years of owning? Also, I've had a lot of people ask me like, where have you been, man? We used to do all these drives and news and different stuff to do with Tesla and whatever on your channel. and. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been really busy with life and Tesla, I mean, this whole YouTube thing is just a hobby for me. But let me show you kind of what I've been doing, what the products are that have been occupying my time here at the house. My wife is kind of like fed up with uh, certain things, so we're working on remodeling. If you've ever been in a process of remodeling and working on your house, you know it's just, it's hard to keep clean. You got boxes like this arriving like every single day, it seems. In my garage that I clean every month but can't keep clean, you got just a bunch of old lights, got junk like this just all over the place. And then this is what all the projects are leading to. By the way, it's laundry day, don't worry. This is not the way we typically live, but check this out. This is my favorite part of my house right here. Check it out. So we got like a bridge whoop, down there like that. And then on the other side, it's like a full on bridge. I don't know. But so this is what we've been working on here. So, and this is the master bathroom here. We have two different vanities in the master bathroom and my wife has her like whatever makeup thing there. So we just kind of got new cano tops installed. I just installed new light fixtures up there, which are super cool. We got our towel guy coming this weekend. So we're pretty excited about that. We're getting ready to get rid of all this junk from laying all over our house. Plus we rescued this new puppy that's not really a puppy, but super scared of everything and really, really needs a haircut. Yeah, who's a good girl? Thank goodness I have a second garage because if I had to work out in that garage, it would drive me nuts. Here, I'll show you guys kind of like my, my man cave kind of thing over here. Here's my second garage. See, so in this garage, I keep all the things like all the kids kind of go-karts, toys and all that stuff. I got my bikes right here, which is always fun. And then this is my garage. Got a little workbench here, got my weight set here, got my all my stuff up here for like the bench and everything. And then of course, you know, gotta have a mirror to check out the gains. And of course, Pacific Northwest, gotta have your good old heater. And I'm super into tech stuff, so of course everything is turned on and run for my Alexa which is super fun because like if I'm getting out of bed, I can, you know, get my car warmed up, get my garage warmed up, get it all ready to go. So when I get there, everything's just ready. You guys wanna see my office where I work? I don't know why I'm showing you guys all this crap. You don't care, but anyway, I'll show you it anyway. Oh, and also a neat little tip if you work from home all the time like I do. See this thing right here? On air it says, see, right there. All I do is when I'm working, I don't want the kids or the wife or anyone to disturb me. I just come up here like this, click that, look at that. That's how you know, don't touch daddy's handle, don't jiggle it, don't knock, don't nothing. But anyway, here's my office, okay? This is where like all the videos are recorded and edited. This is like behind where I sit, um, all the cool stuff. So I got like my timer up there for the stock market and everything, my trading, a little TV right there. Then I have like my Windows PC side, then I have my Mac side all over here. Yeah, and then this is where I sit and this is what it looks like. So anyway, that's kind of what's been going on with me and why the channel hasn't been putting out nearly the content we used to do, all the how-tos, the tips videos and all that fun stuff. And to be honest, I mean, I love making drive videos. That's what we built the channel on. I never ever planned on doing just product reviews. Like it seems like it's been lately and it's just that they're here and accessible and then my free time, that's when I've been able to do. But the channel's definitely gonna be going back into all the stuff we built it on eventually here. All right, now let's get into this box. There's a ton of new stuff here. I mean, this is all the new stuff that Jawa recently has out. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that's like, what is that? Like unique, anyway, let's get into the studio and open up these things. All right, so 
First up, what we got here is something called a magnet car seat holder. Okay, and again, this is all coming from Jawa, and this is a very unique design. Okay, what you do with these deals here is they're they're mag safe, or like they're like a the, the magnet thing that iPhone's doing. You take these and you hook them behind your seat inside of your Tesla, or really, I guess it could work in any car. And watch this road trip or whatever with the kids. You take your mag safe device clip it right on there, and then there they go. They get to watch their video or whatever. It's just a neat little solution for a way to hang stuff on the back of a Tesla seat, which is kind of nice because it's kind of hard to get stuff in and around there. And this is better than some strap that's gonna like rub and wear on your seat. And so this is a neat option for that. Also, this is where these come into play, I have discovered. So what you do with this, this is basically a MagSafe ring. Let's say you have an Android device or Android or iPad or something that does not have MagSafe built into the back of it, like uh, Jawa's, well, Jawa's case is also one of Jawa's phone cases, which is really cool, by the way, on it. So it has a little thing that pops out here and you can kind of rest, but anyway, you can take this then and stick it to the back of your tablet, like maybe somewhere, you know, right around there in the center of it. And then you can take the ring and you can see that these just, they snap together on there. One thing to be aware of though, if you use something like the super keyboard from Apple, if you have something on the back there, it's not going to magnetically stick to this. So for someone like me, I couldn't put that on there because obviously that would ruin my $300 keyboard uh, for this. So, um, you know, it, it, especially for people that have like an Android device that want their kids to use it, this is gonna be a real big, um, well, this is simply how it makes it work. And of course, as always, I'll put the links to all these products we're gonna talk about today down below, as well as my discount. I get, a, you guys get a 5% discount for anything with my code at Jawa. So that'll be down there. And also, I mean, if you guys are like here and having a good time, please go down and like, like stop what you're doing and subscribe to the channel because I mean, we got a lot of fun stuff coming here. A 256 gig SD card, micro SD. And the reason why Java sells these is because a lot of people use them inside of their Tesla for their dash cam videos and whatnot. And so um, their hub actually takes one of these that you can actually use your hub as part of your dash cam. So that's why they sell those. And then these are kind of interesting right here. Look at these things. What these are are actually touch up pens. So it looks like they have blue, silver, white, gray. I mean, I think they have red they, they got all the colors here and this is kind of funny because we we're just talking about my little scratches so uh in a minute we'll go out there with the blue one and try to fix up a little scratch on my car see how well it works we've also got black here as well so looks like they got them all and i'm actually quite interested in this thing because that could be a solution to my scratch problem the question is how well does it work how does it work what is it so in the box it comes with this super fine brush of sorts and then you have the tube here and on the tube it says for directions clean the surface shake well use brush to apply paint close tightly after and it says it contains acrylic resin pigment solvent and it's got a shelf life of four years don't swallow it it's harmful if it gets in your eyes glad they said that so it looks like you just take some uh take that little paint brush dab it on in there Ooh. Oh boy, that looks messy. Anyway, we'll try that in a minute. Now this one's interesting. Remember that little thing we talked about earlier? This deal here? So what thing? You, another thing you can stick to it is this, uh, what they're calling a magnetic tissue box cover. So this is pretty cool. So you can take a tissue box, you wrap it in this wrap here, and then it sticks to it. So you can kind of have a tissue box um, behind your seat and uh, I'll show you guys some shots of that as we give that a try. What else, what else? Okay, so it looks like here we have a three port USB hub with dash cam reader. Okay, this is kind of what I was talking about. Let's open this up. And these little guys are really cool. You can see on the back here that there's three USB A ports on the back. And then on the side here, you have that USB or micro USB port. And that is for your dash cam. And that's why they sell these. So like with the Model Y, you have a little port inside of your glove box. You can plug something like this into. You got some USB C ports or USB A ports there. You can kind of charge your phone while it's sitting there inside of the box. It's also got an adapter on there. So you can pull this off and then plug into USB uh, A as well. So if you don't have USB C like my 2019 doesn't then it can still fit in there so it's a really small really compact little hub to get a few more different ports in there but also it doesn't take away from your dash cam port because again you can do it right inside of here and record directly into that 256 gig micro SD all right next up we have this glove box hook 
So this deal right here, again, a lot of the stuff is so simple, but can like really make a difference. Some of the stuff is obviously gonna maybe not mean much to anybody, um, others it will. So here we go, we got two little hooks, uh, very simple um, mechanisms here. They just sort of hook into your glove box and you can just hang stuff on them. Uh, again, simple yet nice. Now these have little rubber on them right here, which makes these uh, unique from the ones that I've seen. Even though these are made out of metal, metal's not actually touching your car. So you're gonna actually have that on both the insides, big thick on the inside there, the rubber you can hopefully see there. Um, and on the outside, there's a, whoa, a little strip um, right along the back here. Uh, so it should keep everything nice and safe there. But yeah, you hook a purse on there or, you know, bag, a garbage bag, you know, whatever. Uh, great little great little thing to have there. More bubbles. And then last but not least, and this is kind of kind of cool, I mean, we got umbrellas, Jawa's latest umbrellas. And, and the reason why we have umbrellas here at Jawa, a Tesla accessory company, is because of, um, geez, how many is here? is because of their floor mats. Now, if you just seen my recent floor mat, I'm sorry, it's gotta be loud on the mic. So my recent floor mic, uh, mat video, inside of their floor mats, they actually make a spot for their umbrellas. They actually put, go set right down um, underneath the driver's seat and the passenger seat, a little spot where these things plunk right down into, which is really cool. But let's see what, what's unique about, why do I have, how many do I have here, five, how, why? What are they, what's the differences here? Oh, I see, they're for each color of the car. So you got a red one, if you got a red car, red, white, blue, looks like silver silver or gray and black, I'm not really sure. Of course, I am colorblind, so I'm not the best person to ask these questions to. Let's take this umbrella out and take a look at it and see just how great these umbrellas are. It's got jowl on there, so it's a little uh, kind of bag over top of it. There is a button here, I like that. It says jowl on it as well, undo it here. Whoa. So what's kind of cool about this is it explodes up and push it again, comes back down. <laughs> now it doesn't come all the way back down, but pretty darn close. And uh, yeah, it's grabber. You can hear it ratcheting back up. And uh, just like that, it's back in place. And this is a, this is a, this is, this is a good little umbrella. I'm actually quite impressed. <laughs> And uh, let's take a look at a few other of the colors and see what they look like. Okay, I think this is silver or gray or something. I'm not entirely sure if I had a kid or wife here at the house, I would ask them, but uh, we'll see. Let's just take, you guys tell me what color this one is. Okay, this has gotta be the gray one. So here we go. Let's take a look at this. Uh, this is looking good. Ready? Ah, all right, there you go. Well, let's head out to my car and try some of these things out. I'm curious to see how this paint works. I try everything on my car, so I mean, might as well me be the one to try it. And uh, we'll try it on a few little spots and see. But let's try this one, because this is one we already looked at. I'm taking a microfiber cloth, get it all nice and clean right there. And uh, you can see it's just got about an inch line of missing paint right there. So let's give this a shot here. So I'm gonna just keep, take this part, little brush that came with it, and I'm gonna take this little fine tip one that came with it as well and uh, put some on the end of this. And then I'm going to just see if I can uh, keep it only on the part. I need a lot more. The unfortunate thing is that I'm not a great one to ask about the color because I can't really see color. It certainly looks better than the scratch mark there though. I can tell you that it's no longer obvious. So that's a good sign. I guess now over the next couple of days, we'll see how it dries and just kind of see how long it holds. Which fake plant do you like better? Option one or option two? I can only fit one of these at my desk and I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I love looking at these awesome new products and Jawa is like way out in front and creating this innovative stuff. I'll put my discount code and link to their site down below this video like I mentioned earlier. And if any of these things are what you guys are looking for, go check them out. You do have to pay for shipping with Jawa, so make sure you factor that into your budget. And if you're looking for any other discounts, go down below this video. I got them all listed down there, plus all the discounts. Now, the other day I put out a poll wondering what you guys wanted most when you're looking into YouTube. When you get on YouTube, you're like, let me look at some Tesla content. I wanna know what more you guys, what do you go and look for? What are you searching for? You're going for product reviews, Tesla news, full self drives. What is it that you guys really want the most when you tune into YouTube? I love doing all those kinds of things, but I am curious. So head over to the community part of my page and vote there so I can see what those are. See you on the next one.